hey there, this is Erica from Ever Educating, and this channel is teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources for new college instructors. So if that's you, go ahead and subscribe below. And today I'm talking about the Google Suite because I have so many videos on here of ed tech tutorials, ed tech tips, that I know not everybody wants to dive into new tools when they're teaching. You know, they have only so much time on their hands. So most of us tend to be familiar with the Google Suite though. And so today's video, I'm giving you just some ideas of how you can use the suite to create different activities or different resources for your students. Let's go ahead and dive in. With Google Docs, you can of course make documents for your students as resources for them to read. One tip I have for here though, is potentially use a Google Doc as a running list of examples for your students. So rather than having different documents that they have to find on Canvas or your LMS or their email or the case may be, just have, hey, here's just one doc and throughout the whole semester, I'm just gonna give you examples of things you talk about on this same document. And so maybe you have unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four, or week one, week two, week three, and so on. But it's one document that has tons of examples for students to look at throughout the whole semester, easy to find just the one link on Canvas. Google Docs can also be used to create collaborative work in the classroom. So you can have a blank document that's linked on Canvas. They click it, they open up, and they have permission to actually edit it. And you can have them do some kind of activity using the blank doc. So it might be, hey, you know, go ahead and read this and give me examples of these literary terms. It might be, all right, you read this for homework, go ahead and list the steps to this process that we've studied you know, go ahead and work with a partner or a group and come up with five ideas and list them in this document, right? So just a collaborative document that you use with your students to do some kind of in-class activity. You can also use Google Docs to create a resource list for your students. So in this case, I'm thinking of, you give them a title on the top of the document and you say, hey, here are these 10 resources that will help you with unit one. Each resource is linked, hyperlinked, so some kind of piece of information. And then you can just create it as a PDF. So you can download it as a PDF, put it on Canvas and say, hey, you know, here are these 10 resources, go ahead and use them for this project. So in that case, students can actually edit it or do anything to the, the doc because it's just a PDF that they can use on their own time when they're on the go or the case may be. As a more advanced option of this, you can use Google Slides instead. And so the same thing, you create a slide that has the links but in this case, you could potentially create a longer document, more than one slide, and then you can actually create hyperlinks in between slides. So for example, you might have a 20 page slide document, right? You can create in Google Slides. And so maybe you have a table of content at the top. Do you need more help with A, with B, with C, with D? Click, and it will take you to that page. So you download it as a PDF, but in this case, it's actually an interactive notebook rather than just one document they have to scroll through in order to find what they're looking for. I have a video on how to do this that I'll link below using Google um, Slides. But in this case, I really think it can make your PDF more interactive and more user-friendly if it's very long. With Google Slides, you can of course create uh, PowerPoint presentations, right? Use Google Slides instead. But you can also create Pear Deck presentations. And so rather than just lecturing your students, by having the Pear Deck extension of Google Slides, you can make slides interactive. So you can pause at points and say, hey, answer this question, type in your answer here, right? Click on the multiple choice option, put in this number, whatever the case may be. So you can use this with lecturing or you can design a discussion activity that each slide requires some kind of response from your students. So that's Google Slides with a Pear Deck extension. I'll link videos to help with that as well below. Google Slides are also great to create some kind of graphic or illustration that students use to complete a project. So for example, maybe you want to play some kind of bingo game for review, you can create a bingo card using the Google Slides. Or maybe you wanna have some type of different columns where they have to add in information to each column. You can design the columns on Google Slides to make it more visually appealing than just, hey, you know, here's a blank document, go ahead and put it in the left side, the middle, or the right side. You can actually design a really cool slide of that kind of activity and then again save it as a pdf and share it with your students you can also share it as an actual slide and have them you know click into it and interact that way actually add their information onto the slide itself but it really depends on what you want to do with your activity slides are also great if you want to create some kind of differential approach to teaching where you have okay well here are this these different slides go ahead and click one of them and complete the activity that's on that slide 
And so in this case, you can give your students more choice in the classroom, a big component of choice, and they can see, okay, well, here are these 10 slides. I like activity seven. That's the one that I'm gonna do. And you can have a link to that activity on that slide. And so it's easy for them to access, but it's not just, hey, we're all doing the same thing. It can be, well, are you really confident in this thing? Maybe choose a more challenging one. If you're confused, go ahead and choose one of the earlier ones. And you can go with that approach rather than just having all students do the same assignment. There's also Google Spreadsheets. So this might seem like, well, why would you use a spreadsheet if you can just use Canvas for attendance or you know your LMS? I think spreadsheets can work really well in order to gamify your classroom. So you might have some kind of leadership board where they can get points for doing something in particular, and then you could have their names and the point system next to it, and you can just share that on your LMS so they can always see, well, who's on top of the leadership board or how many points do I have that's gonna be going towards extra credit or whatever it is that you're doing for gamification. If you need some kind of chart, then Google spreadsheets are great for this because again, it's easy to just link onto Canvas and they can see it updated as you go. Spreadsheets are also great for creating tables or charts based off of data that you put into the spreadsheet. So similar to Excel, only you're using Google spreadsheets instead. So that's another option as well in case you wanna show some kind of data to your students as a resource or if you actually want students to create their own data, it's one way of making it easy and you know, students don't need to have Excel, they can just have the Google spreadsheet. Because again, most students do have a Gmail account they can use to create this kind of assignment for you. So this is just the trifecta. So Google Docs, Google Slides, and Google Spreadsheets. There are obviously more in the Google Suite and if you want more videos about this, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. But really, even just if you don't wanna investigate other ed tech tools, these three give you a lot of wiggle room in the kind of activities you can create, resources you can create for your students. So hopefully this video helped give you ideas. There's other videos below that can also help as well, especially that one that teach you how to create that interactive notebook using Google Slides.